my friends. What's up, man? Hey, uh, Pest and Lawn Ginger here. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, power raking. So, I've had a few customers uh, that have had too much thatch in their lawns, which causes a lot of problem with the uptake of the fertilizer. So, what I recommended is that they do a power rake. So, that's what we're doing today. Just kind of wanted to show you the results of the actual power rake itself, and then we'll go from there. But as you can see, this is our first pass, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, we've got a ton of thatch, and if you can't tell how much this is, let's kind of go through it with my hand. I mean, it is just a ton. Uh, whoever planted this grass used the dominant rye grass with a little bit of fescue and bluegrass in it. Over time, what happens is all this dead thatch ends up uh, binding up and our fertilizer doesn't penetrate through it. So the only thing that we can do is to take it out. Now, with that in mind, um, that's our first pass. So I'm gonna take you over to the second area. We've already had uh, some of these guys do a little bit of the clean out and we're on to our second pass, which I'll show you. So here's our second pass and as you can see, a lot less. Uh, thatch coming out, but still a significant amount. Now brushing this out of the way, we don't want the grass bald, um, but what we're trying to do is clear out as much of this ryegrass as we can, and we're gonna overseed uh, with some Kentucky Blue. Uh, but just walking around, keep in mind, this is our second pass, still a significant amount of thatch throughout this whole chunk of the yard. And again, what this does makes it very difficult for the water to get to the right place. The roots curl up, you end up with shallow root syndrome, and then it ends up uh, causing fungal issues. Now, I've got a crew here. They've got a specialized lawnmower that mulches and bags at the same time. This is our first pass. First pass with the, uh, the power rake. And uh, for those of you guys just wondering, I'm just using this real dinky little uh, bluebird and it does a good job um, underneath the machine it's just got these tines spin a couple hundred times a second and that's how it works so after the first pass we want to do a nice cleanup make sure it gets done right and these guys are doing a good job so after the second one that we've done they're gonna pass over with the mower again and then do a hand rake but guys, thatch is the enemy. You can't allow it to build up like this. So if you're in an area that uh, doesn't break down very well, you better make sure you have a good enough mower to mulch. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of money on these cleanups. But that's the tip of the day, guys. Have a nice day. Subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know if you have any questions. See you later. Bye.